Okay, so in this video, we're going to learn how to do a rotoscoped animation like the one that you see here. So the way that you start this out is you take a video, a really short video using the Boomerang app. Okay, so you can do that. I have taken a couple. It automatically saves it to your photo library. This is the one that I'm gonna use. Okay, so nothing too exciting, but I'm gonna use that. It's a, just a four second video. So we're gonna open that up using the Doing Animation app. So I'm gonna open that up. I'm gonna hit the plus sign in the upper right hand corner and we're gonna do a new drawing. So from here, we want to bring that uh, boomerang file, that short video file into the animation app. So I'm gonna do that by tapping on these three lines in the upper center of the screen here. And I wanna tap on the little camera right here. And I'm gonna go in all, and I wanna find that little video. So here it is. I can play it, make sure that that's the one I wanna use. Yep, there it is. So I'm gonna hit use, and you can see it appeared down here. So we wanna be able to draw on top of it though, but you can see that none of these things are highlighted down here on the bottom. So tap on these lines again, and you can see there are two layers, right? Now the one that we're gonna draw on is this one. We're even gonna layer or label it. I'm gonna title it rotoscope, because that's the kind of animation that we're doing. And I wanna bring that on top. I'm gonna do that by touching on these three lines over here, tapping it so that it kind of pops up. So I'll do that again. So I'm gonna tap on it, popped up, drag it on top. Okay, and then there's my video layer underneath it. So I want the one that says rotoscope to be blue, and I'm gonna tap in this checkerboard transparent area out here. So from here, I'm going to have the paintbrush tool selected. I'm gonna select a color to use. Maybe I'll use the gradient tool. And I like that. Okay, so I'm gonna change the size of my brush. All I did to do that was tap on it. I can decrease the brush size. And then I want to add all the layers for this video. So I'm gonna show you how to do that down here in the bottom, there is a plus sign. Let's tap that plus sign, and you can see, if you look up top here, this is changing. So we wanna have 13 frames. So I want you to notice that number 13, number one, are the same, okay? So once I have 13 frames, now I can pinch in with two fingers if I want to make this a little bit bigger, and I am Gonna make sure that this rotoscope layer is selected and I'm gonna start tracing on top. Now, if I wanna do just my head for the animation, I can do that. I don't have to necessarily do my hair, but I can if I want. I can just do my nose like that. Right, so I, um, if I want to see how it looks without the um, video behind it, I'm going to tap on those three lines again. And this opacity, that's how uh, transparent or um, uh, clear something comes out. So I have it on 100% opacity, the, the um, video layer. So I'm going to turn down the opacity and make it completely see-through. Okay, so you can see that's what it's going to look like. And now I want to turn the opacity back up, make it solid so that I can use that in each of the frames. So I'm gonna go ahead down here to the bottom, select frame two, and you can see I have that like ghost overlay behind it, and that's good so that it doesn't let me forget, whoops, what to, um, what to draw. So I wanna make sure I have the rotoscope layer selected. I have my brush on, and now I'm gonna go ahead and trace all 13 of those frames. And then check it out. Okay, so I did all 13 of my frames and you can see down here at the bottom that I have 
the face traced over every single one of those. I can hit the play button up top and it'll show my animation. And so now I'm pretty much done. I can go back into the gallery view, save that video to the camera roll, and then turn it into a GIF that will move forever and ever. Remember, at this point, you can change the speed of it if you want. So maybe you want it to be like, ah, really fast. You're kind of slow. And then save it. Save it to your photo album. And then share it with me.